Hello everyone, today is Friday. My name is John Paul, founder of Day Trade to Win. I'm gonna show you something a little different today. I have an automated trading system called the Autopilot, which is currently trading. These are the first trades of the day. I have it on a couple different charts as well, so I'm gonna see how this performs for today. But I do wanna start off with how automatic trading systems work. A little bit on why or why not you should be using them because some traders like automated trading systems and other traders prefer to trade on their own right and and be in control now before we begin remember that trading is risky please don't trade with funds you can't afford to lose talk to your broker understand there are risks involved with any type of trading that you're doing so what you're seeing here on the two charts to the left it's a 1000 tick chart and uh, the parameters are a little different but the trade is basically the same it's a short trade and you see the targets these are automatically placed for you so the the entries are placed for you automatically and the targets and the stops are placed for you as well automatically but there is a couple of things though that i believe will help any type of automated trading system even something that maybe you've been doing on your own as well with automated trading Typically, you can, with the autopilot, just turn it on and walk away. But it's always good, at first, at least for the new traders, to kind of be in front of the computer, see how it works. Even you could manage the, the orders yourself. So if I wanted to move any of these orders, the target or the stop, to get out of the trade, you have the ability to do so. So I think as a as a first time user of using any type of trading automated trading system don't just turn it on and walk away you can do that after you have some experience in working with the system itself but i think it's also good to understand what makes the system and to get out or to get in if the conditions are changing so these are some characteristics of automated trading systems I think that traders should focus on. And I'll give you a great example here. If you take a look here at the bottom left-hand chart, we see that the market hit the target 37.12.75. So it was short at 37.19.75 and it hit the target at 37.12.75. But it didn't get filled. It didn't get filled because it's using a limit order. So how do we respond to that? Well, I'm letting the system run, I'm letting it do its thing, but if I notice that it just, and actually just now, once again, it came within a tick of that target and it's uh, moving away from it. So as a trader, I always look at this and I think about price action and I think about managing the trade. I say to myself, I do not want to let this turn into a losing trade. So when I think of this, I always consider whether or not if it touched the target if it just missed it by a tick or two do i want to let this continue on and potentially become a loss so in the back of your mind that has to be weighing i always say get out of the trade if you're in front of the automated trading system the autopilot trading system uh, and you see this occur we do not want to see this go back up go beyond where you entered and potentially become a loser. So I always recommend keeping an eye on it, at least at first, so you have a, a good understanding. Do not let this go much higher beyond where the entry is. So if the entry is 37.19.75, make sure to close out the position uh, just above that if it happens to not come back and hit your target. Now the autopilot trading system does have a number of bars or a number of candles that allows you to get out of the trade and that's a good thing because I've always talked about a time-based stop I've always talked about how you can uh, limit the amount of risk by limiting the amount of time that you're in a trade this is a little different if you're using a tick chart or a volume chart or a range chart because it goes by number of bars uh, so there is a number a, a category called number of bars that are that is built into this that says get out of the trade after 10 bars, 20 bars, 100 bars, 80 bars. And this happens to be 85 bars. So the when you're trading with a 1000 tick chart, the value of 85 bars in a trade is what I'm using to get me out. So again, once again, you see here that it's hovering right at the target at 37.12.75 on the chart Order here, the lower, lower left-hand chart. Order and submitted. As a matter of fact, Order it just submitted. just got filled, and once again, it uh, re-entered into the market 
and or at least the bottom chart did and the top chart is trying to get into the market at either 37 13 quarter or 37 or canceled so if you have any questions on the autopilot trading system visit daytrade2win.com do a search and you'll find some details on this new program until next time good trading if you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets visit daytrade2win.com Join the next mentorship class starting later this month and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.